you know, we're 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 really appreciating what we're seeing here right now, uh, and we're very lucky to have it because uh, sometimes at World Championships, sometimes the final medal matches aren't what you were hoping for. No, and this one, as you said, it could have been a gold medal match. These are. It's a shame they have to meet this early, but you know you're gonna have to beat everyone to win. So let's have a look at some of the uh, results here. We've Sarah Lopez. Yeah, Sarah Lopez, 58-54 lead over Inga Van Caspel, uh, one of the top shooters from the Netherlands. Jothi Venom with a 58-56 lead over the very talented Yassim Bostan of Turkey. Uh, Toya Cherney trailing Alejandro Uskiano, 55-58. And Tied score uh, between your friends Crystal Galvin and your wife Linda Ochoa. Yeah, 58-58, and uh, we they they hate shooting off against each other uh, as they are good friends, and they always end up in the same side of the bracket. It, it always happens, so never fails. 58-58 um, for them, and we'll see what becomes of it. Maria Vinogradova with a two-point lead over Sarah Sonnenschein of Denmark. Uh, Kim Yoon Hee with a two-point lead over Sandrine Vendianat of France. Tanya Jensen with a one-point lead over Natalia Avdieva of Russia. And uh, Adam Ravenscroft keeping the, the good shooting rolling against the man with the most distinguished name, Albertus Cornelius of South Africa. Perfect score on the field of play for Demir Amagakli of Turkey. 60 points versus 58 from the best man, Roberto Hernandez. Yeah, and here we go with the third end. So. Okay, other leaders, uh, Mario Vavro, uh, Raja Chauhan. Kevin Tatterin's got a one-point lead on Chris Perkins. We're back in action. Stefan Hansen just reached full draw. I think Mike Schlusser's going to shoot first. Hansen. Nine for Hansen and a ten for Mr. Schlusser. And it looks like we did, in fact, have Marcus commenting for us. Well, that's great. Always nice to have uh, a great guy like Marcus to... Uh, Give us uh, his feedback as well. There's That's a 10. <laughs> so we've got a 10 and a 9 from out both of these guys. We've still got a draw. And they're shooting really identical arrows the whole way through. Yeah, too. Mike had a great opportunity there. If he so just uh, There's another 10, and I'll bet we'll see the same from Steve right now. And I want to point out that Mikey had cut loose his last arrow. He, he had 73 seconds left on the clock, so... He's, he's not wasting any yeah, time. He's motoring through, and that's that's typical of Mikey. Watching him in Vegas. Yeah, why waste time? Yeah, when he won Vegas, he uh, he was shooting at about 40 seconds. We've got a draw at nine arrows, 88 points each from Stefan Hansen of Denmark, Mike Schlusser of Netherlands. Good afternoon, if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, here from the World Archery Championships in Copenhagen, where we have overcast skies, a green field, and thankfully no rain and not much wind. I'm here with. The American Archer, Steve Anderson. I'm George Tekmachev uh, from World Archery. And also joining us in the room is the great one, Carlos Holgado. He's uh, helping man the comments if, as the uh, comments roll in. If you're with us on YouTube, you have the ability to send us your questions and comments via live stream right now. And we're actually live on the camera, so give oh, away. Oh, here we are. Hi there. Uh, so we've got a question here is... Mikey shooting a thumb button and Stefan a back tension. Yeah, Stefan, uh, yesterday he was using a hinge release, so yes, he was using a back tension. I assume he is still today. Uh, Mikey has shot a Carter Target 4, although he only uses three fingers on it, and he's done that for ever, basically. Yeah. He, hasn't, he doesn't change releases. I'm not a big fan of changing releases either. I think you stick with one and, and you get comfortable with it. A certain, amount it work. Of, a certain amount of that applies to recurves, too. You know, you don't want to just go changing tabs. No, those guys live with it. Yeah, it takes it's it takes uh, a while. You're back. You know, there's only one shooter I know who's successfully able to change tabs. The great Magnus Peterson. Magnus had five tabs, still does probably. <laughs> and what he would do is he'd shoot. You know, he had his Monday tab, his Tuesday tab, his Wednesday tab, his Thursday tab. You know, and that way he minimized the amount of wear on any given tab, and he also was able to uh, stay out of trouble with. You know, having different tabs when the time came to change one. Yeah, I guess uh, if you're accustomed to making the switch and getting used to it, then uh, you're a, a leg up when it does come time to to replace one that's worn out.
got another question just popped up from Bin Photo. Is there an advantage with either release when with changing winds? Um, That's I, deep, I, Mark. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. If you're a, if you're trying to change to a thumb release so that you can kind of command the shot, chances are you don't have the shot execution or the the mental um, the mental game to, to make it work for you. Yeah, I think stick with your guns and and shoot what what got you there. You know they say in America, uh, dance with the girl you brought. Or something along those lines. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Six-point lead for Sarah Lopez from Colombia right now. Yeah, she's cruising. It's a uh, two-point lead for Jyoti Venom of India. Three-point lead for Alejandra Osquiano of Colombia. Crystal Gavin pulls out a two-point lead over Linda Ochoa. One-point lead for Emily Sanseno. And um, let's see. Natal Maria Vinogradova of Russia with a one, no, two-point lead. Five-point lead for Kim Yun-hee of Korea versus Sandrine Van Dionant. And Natalia Avdieva trailing Tanya Jensen of Denmark by one point. For the men, Adam Ravenscroft, four-point lead. Over Albert Cornelius, the most distinguished name on the field. Perfect score for Demir and Magakli of Turkey. Tied score between Mario Vavra of Croatia and Patrick Rue of South Africa. It's a one-point lead for Rajat Chauhan over Robert Timms. Kevin Tatterin now with a two-point lead over Chris Perkins. That's a surprise a little bit. Yeah, the uh, the countryman doing battle and the one who would probably not be considered the favorite, although he's a great shooter in his own right, is uh, leading the charge. Well, Kevin may just well have Chris's number. They shoot together quite a bit. And right here we've got Stefan and Mikey, each with their, I mean, they haven't had many arrows on the right side of the, the X-ring, and again, they're both kind of mimicking each other on impact. Yeah, so. it's almost a mirror image. You've got tens from each. Stefan, or sorry, Mike just shot another shot another 10 and another 10 it's just a 10 fest here gentlemen yeah these guys are uh, <laughs> they're just incredible talents another one for Mike He's I just I'm so impressed again. with uh, both of these guys they are just solid as a rock and now I think they found their rhythm focus and timing yep and Mikey off the line with 79 seconds oh off, yeah so. he's not wasting it no he was 41 seconds ten to ten get ten. The on. and the crowd is certainly appreciative we could be looking at a shoot off here Potentially. Stefan, not slow either. He had 64 no, seconds no, no. remaining. He's not wasting clock. time. No. Almost tipped his bow over right there, though. He, he thankfully had a coach there to make you mean sure when it he didn't put it hit down the deck. on the ground. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't want to drop your bow. That probably wouldn't hurt anything, but uh, the confidence thing. Yeah, yeah, it's unlikely that anything moves on on the bows in this day and age. You know, if you have well, a good limb pocket system. Even a long time worry. ago, you know, a. Uh, I remember I was at the World Indoor in uh, Turkey in 1997, and one of my teammates he. Uh, had his bow tipped over hard uh, by, at that time, one of the very top shooters from one of the top archery countries. And the guy just kind of shrugged and kept walking, didn't even apologize. And my teammate picked up the bow and proceeded to beat that guy <laughs> with an almost perfect score. Yeah, there's... Uh, so, you know, just having confidence helps. There's generally not many bad instances of sportsmanship out here on the archery field, but it happens from time to time. We are human. He certainly didn't kick it over on purpose. I didn't mean to imply that. But uh, not apologizing for that kind of <laughs> kind of gave us a arched eyebrow. Right. Uh, so we got asked if we'll be streaming during the qualification elimination rounds at uh, Roslau and Medellin. Uh, no, I don't believe they'll have this going during elimination. Hold on. I don't know. Finals. I don't think we have that answer. I don't think we know. It, maybe they are. Who knows? Yeah. I, I'm thinking that uh, we can find out, though. For sure, we can find out. Some other comments rolling in I'm seeing here. How is Stefan shooting so good? Yellow wraps, green string, blue grip, red sight. He is all over the place. Yes, he is. I guess he uh, is not a believer in color coordination. But he's having no problem finding the 10 ring. Well, it's not about fashion. It's about, uh, you know, it's about consistency. And if he's happy having a bunch of different colors at his disposal... He's obviously performing well in his happy place. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yep. Oh, somebody's bored. Whoever that is needs to get a, take a nap. <laughs> I'm sure there's something else on YouTube that will catch your interest. I suggest you go FPS Russia. He wake you up. All right, maybe not.
I have not had the pleasure of meeting Deb and Dale Nicholson. I have heard of them, but I have not had the pleasure of meeting them. Nor have I, so. Let's see, what other questions can we... Oh, Harlequin color scheme. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I wonder if that's Murray from uh, GBR that, that's being referred to there. All right, so we've got some scores rolling in again. We have scores rolling in again, and uh, Steve... Sarah Lopez uh, gave up two points in the last end. And still leads by five. And still leads by five. Well, the crowd likes what they're seeing here. This is no question a, uh, a great match. And uh, was it Marcus that said this could have been a gold medal match? Somebody said that. Somebody yeah, with it was a, Marcus. a good thought there. And yeah, yeah, it's absolutely true. This is gold medal quality right here. It, it really is. This is. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, I'm sorry it won't be the final because uh, the Danish crowd would love this when uh, when they get around to it. Yeah, and I'm only seeing one score on the field higher right now, and that's from uh, Demir Elmagakli from Turkey. Yeah, who you predicted would uh, would be a factor in this thing and could still be. It looks like he's got a three point advantage over your friend and our mine, uh, Roberto Hernandez of El Salvador. Um, Adam Ravenscroft still strong over Albertus Cornelius. We'll update all the scores shortly, but right now let's focus on these last three shots. Yeah, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of one-hour shoot-offs. Mike, Mike Schlusser is just a explosive rocket starter, they'd call him in, in MotoGP. Yeah, he Ten. He gets with it. And, you know, that can be advantageous. You get three arrows in the ten ring before your opponent's done, and they got to think about it. Ten. Nine. So the door is open for Stefan here. Oh, that could be costly. Door is open. And he knows that he's taking his time. Nine. Oh, he just missed Nine. it. Nine. And it's it's a mirror image. And he's uh, he's kind of, he just turned to question his coach. He doesn't understand why ten. he missed. So Stefan has to have a 10 here. I'm predicting a shoot off, my friend. I think we'll probably see it. Here Stephen's we go. Last shot. To the 10 side. is a shoot off. Nine is a loss. So they've been both hanging on the left side. So Stefan just clicked his side. This is a mental click. It's got to be a mental click. Tell me it's not. 10. We have a shoot off. Shoot off will take place immediately after the field has been cleared from scoring all the matches. So that gives them a few moments to think about it, huh? And, this is, and they're they're both done with a minute to go, so they're going to have a little extra time. Oh, yeah, they get to too. sit there and let it stew for a while. Yeah. My goodness, that's... Uh, they didn't waste any time, that's there, for sure. There was really no wind on that See, end. See, this is... I like this because this is, to me, you know, two well-matched guys. You know, well-matched. They have similar styles. Okay, they don't have similar physiques, but they have similar styles. And you know, it's uh, this is great. This is this is what it's about. Yep, these guys. Uh, it's not the first time we've seen them. It certainly won't be the last. It's probably years to come. When are the recurve women due to compete for the last Olympic slot tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. Well, no, excuse me, not tomorrow. The last one's available from this event, but there's a continental qualifying tournament ahead. There's a final Olympic quota tournament ahead. So there's more in the next few months. The reason you want to win those slots at the World Championship is obvious. So you don't have to worry about it after you just focus off. on training. Yeah, I yeah. believe the last opportunity will actually be at the Medellin World Cup next year. Sure, yeah. Well, for for people on our continent, North yeah. America. Yeah, that's true. The one here for Europe will be in Nottingham, England. The one for Oceania will be, uh, was I told, it was Fiji or Tonga? Tonga, it'll be Tonga. Which actually sounds like fun. Sounds like a fun yeah. place to visit. That's uh, again for you know the uh, archers in the Australia, New Zealand area. They they have a hard time getting to these events just because of the expense and time. And well, yeah, I imagine that a flight to Tonga is not cheap, huh? No. And I don't think you're going to row. Water. Nope, 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 nope. I you <laughs> think could, you, be you, a long you, trip. If you take enough gas, you could take your Volkswagen, the old style Volkswagen bugs. You know, they'd float. <laughs> it's true. So we're setting ourselves up for a shoot-off between Stefan Hansen and Mike Schlosser of Netherlands. Victory for the following shooters. Victory for Toya Seren of Slovenia. Victory for Sarah Lopez. Victory for Crystal Galvin. Victory for Maria Vinogradova of Russia. 
Victory for Kim Yun Hee of Korea. Victory for Natalia Avdieva of Russia. Victory for Adam Ravenscroft of GBR. Victory for Demir Emagakli of Turkey over Roberto Hernandez. Victory for Mario Vavro. We have a shoot-off between Rajat Chauhan of India and Robert Timms of Australia. Kevin Tatarin defeats Chris Perkins by one point. We have a shoot-off between Amir Kazimpur of Iran and Camilo Cardona of Colombia, and it's a one-point victory for Daniel Munoz of Colombia versus Kim Jong-ho of Korea. I would not have called that. I would not have predicted that. And it means... You know, I'm not surprised by that. Daniel's had some great uh, results the last couple of years. He was a uh, silver medalist, I think, in Medellin last year. Um, and... Uh, I shot against him this year in Turkey, and thankfully I shot a 150 because he was right there with a 148. What it means is that uh, we've only got one Korean left for the men. Yeah, just one, and uh, looks like we may be out of Australians unless Robert Timsey can pull out this win. He can, but Mr. Rajat Chauhan won't make it easy. Yeah, and either way it looks like we're going to be either um, eliminating the full Australian team or the full team from India. Got to shoot off for the ladies. It's the uh, junior champion Yasim Bostan of Turkey facing Jyothi Venom of India. That one will be interesting because the Indian shooters have, have been strong all week, especially um, the, on the recurve side. But they're, uh, they've had some some of the women's compounders go far, too. I know they had a, a strong team uh, last time at Belek. Toyo oh, pulls yeah. out a one-point lead over, or a one-point one point victory. victory. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, and my uh, condolences, uh, Mr. Ochoa. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Linda was eliminated there by Crystal. Yeah. And Crystal shot the highest score on the field. No, the yeah, the highest score on the field for the women. Well, it would be worse if they hated each other. It's better that they are good friends. Yeah, Linda will be bummed. I know yeah, it. Well, she, you know. She's worked hard, but... She has, but she's got Poland now to look forward to, right? Yeah. She and so does Crystal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they'll be there. Yeah. And you will, too, shooting for the United States. Yep, I'll be back in the saddle. be nice. As much as I enjoy commentating, I enjoy, you know... Oh, I, I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> I totally get that. Okay, so this is going to be some, some interesting shoot-offs on the field. Obviously, we've got the best one right here uh -huh. in front of us. This will be interesting, all right. Here they go. And they're not wasting any time. They're both coming to full draw. This is a drag race as much as it is a shoot-off. And you'll notice clean target faces. Up Let's see well. who she oh, Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Ooh, wow. Mike. Ow. Mike just missed the 10. He's a 9, and Stefan's got this in the bag. He's got it. He's got it. Stefan moves on. The Fresh Prince has taken the throne. Mike is not going to be happy with that. Look at Mike. Look at the body language. Yeah. Oh, but, it, but, but, but look at that. That's a genuine, that was a genuine congratulations right yeah. there. No question about that. You know, this, uh, this brings up a topic of discussion. At, at World Field Championships, we pair the field down by top scores, so... You, you uh, cut to 16, and then all 16 archers shoot the same course. They take the top eight scores from there, and only after you get to four does it go to head-to-head. -to -head. So uh, if we're in a situation like this, both these guys will be moving on. But in the 50-meter round, we shoot head-to-head -head eliminations. It's more fun for the fans. Uh, it's more fun for us to watch. And you know, although Mikey had one of the higher scores on the field for the men, he's, uh, he's going home. He doesn't get a chance to defend his title now. Well, the home crowd's going to have a nice... Uh potential show here but you know it's not done yet no it's not and Stefan I think that's probably the big win for him here that's probably the one that gets him over the hump per se so just look I'd at the bracket see who he's got coming up next I won't be surprised to see him take it all the way from there no but uh, he's got the momentum and the talent the support from the crowd he's got everything he needs right now to be who he wants to be here uh, I believe we are looking at Stefan Hansen 